Hi, Jessica from the E-Rank team here. Today, we're going to be looking at how you can find trending keywords for St. Patrick's Day, which is celebrated on March 17th every year. First, we're gonna go to our keyword tool, E-Rank's keyword tool, and look up St. Patrick's Day to get some ideas about keywords, popular products, and tags that other sellers may be using. So I'm going to click keyword tool from my dashboard and I'm gonna to go to our newer V3 version and we're gonna type in St. Patrick's Day and I'm gonna keep it US for the country and I'm gonna click search and this is going to load the data for the keyword St. Patrick's Day. Now notice that I didn't use any apostrophes or periods or any other punctuation here so at the very top here, we're gonna see keyword statistics, which shows average searches, clicks, competition, things like that. One thing to keep in mind, especially when you're doing research for holidays, is the fact that this average searches is for the past 12 months averaged out. So if we go over here to the search trend graph, we can see that while the average searches per month is about 3,300, the peak last year was February, which was 11,500 searches, but the rest of the year didn't really see much action at all. So that's something to keep in mind. You always want to check the search trends graph when you're doing research for holiday keywords to see when those really start to spike. So we are already actually seeing a spike. In December of 2024, there were almost 6,700 searches for St. Patrick's Day. So people are already starting to shop. So if I want to see the kind of products that might be popular, one thing that I can do is I can scroll down and click on this SERP analysis tab. And when I click on that, it's going to pull data from the top 100 listings on Etsy for this keyword. It's going to show me the average price, average hearts. Um, it can also show me the most popular tags as a word cloud most popular categories, price range, and processing times. So one thing I'm going to look at is most popular categories right here. Since these are the top 100 listings, many, not all, but many of them will have good sales and good sale data and be ranking high because of that. So that's usually an indication that those types of listings are selling repeatedly. It looks like digital items have a huge market for St. Patrick's Day with digital, digital prints, and patterns and blueprints taking up the top three spaces in terms of categories. So that's something that you can go to if you aren't exactly sure what types of products you might want to sell for St. Patrick's Day. Digital seems to be the most popular, which also means it has the highest competition, but that isn't always a bad thing because usually if there's a lot of competition, there are also a lot of buyers. Let's say you don't sell digital items and you want to get an idea of what you could offer buyers for St. Patrick's Day. Let's go up to keyword ideas and scroll down a little bit. So this is going to show you the most popular keywords used by buyers. You can toggle to show tags only, but we're going to stick to see what buyers are looking for. So remember, these are average searches over the past 12 months. So they are likely much, much higher during that December through February, early March, when people are shopping for St. Patrick's Day. So you can see here, St. Patrick's Day is the high, has the highest number of searches with hat, clip art, wreath, tea, gift, et cetera, et cetera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exclude the two types that I see most often, which are SVG and PNG. And then I'm going to include the word Patrick so that things for St. Patrick's Day show up and we don't just end up with, oh, these keywords that don't have SVG and PNG are just gift for mom, which isn't going to help us in our search. So I put those filters in and then we can see what is popular. If I click average searches, it looks like shirt is the most common type of item. So we have St. Patrick Day shirt, Patrick Day shirt, St. Patrick shirt, uh, St. Patrick shirt all spelled out. So it looks like t-shirts are definitely the way to go here. But you can include other keywords, exclude other keywords, customize it however you want. You also can click on this columns button up at the top to see even more data. I have it set to just show the keyword statistics 
because it's clean and easy for me. But if you're interested in Google searches, you want to see character counts for these keywords, tag occurrences within the top 100 listings, or even the search trend for that keyword, you can do that. And then boom, we have all this data here that you can see. Like I said, I like to keep it easy, but seeing the search trend graphs here is very, very helpful, especially for holiday items. One other tool that I'm going to show you is called our compare keywords tool. So it's right over here on the left hand side of your navigation under keyword research. This is a tool that you can use if you're struggling between two, three, or even four different ways to phrase the same thing. Maybe it's a regional difference or a slight spelling difference, such as the word Hanukkah. You can spell that many different ways. So you could input each different instance to see the keyword statistics matched against each other. So I'm going to do is I'm going to put St. Patrick's Day. I'm going to do St. Patty's Day. I'm going to do St. spelling it out, Patrick's Day and St. Patty's Day. These are just some examples, but feel free to use it however your shop needs to. So after a minute, the data has loaded, so it will show you the search trends over the past 15 months up the top, color-coded based on the keywords that you put in. And then if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the keyword statistics. So you can see the average searches, clicks, click-through rates, and competition for each of the four keywords that you put in. This is a great way to see if there's something that you're missing in terms of misspellings or maybe a regional spelling of something. And it also kind of helps you see where the competition is. So for example, between St. Patrick's Day not spelling out the word saint and spelling out the word saint, there's about a 3,000 average search per month difference, but there's a fraction of the competition. So maybe you want to include both of them within your listings. It also looks like between Google searches, there's far, far, far more for the abbreviated St. Patrick's Day. But even within Etsy, you can see that there's 1200, about 1200 searches per month for the spelled out version. So see how you can use this tool and our keyword tool to do your own research for not only St. Patrick's Day, but holidays throughout the year.